see what I have to put up with. This is normal, but anyway, come on. Don't snap me, I'm flying. I'm not. <laughs> Clip up. We're here at Northweald Airfield in Essex. We've had a lovely lunch here at the Wings Cafe meeting up with friends, but now it's time to fly through some of the busiest airspace in the country to get back to Gamston. We're in Yankee Tango today, the Piper Arrow. Northfield Radio, good afternoon, Golf Alpha Victor, Yankee Tango request radio check and airfield information to POB, VFR to Galveston and Pro Wheeled Aviation. Golf Alpha Victor, Yankee Tango, Northfield Radio, good afternoon, readability 5, runway 20, right hand circuit, QNH 1008. Runway 20, right hand circuit, QNH 1008, and your readability 5 also. Yeah. We're at North Weald in Essex. Rangers with me. Yay! Ready out again with cloud. Uh where are we? We're at Bravo 4, Alpha 4. Back off Yaki Tango, we're holding Alpha 4. Are we okay to do our power checks in? Yeah, perfect, set for night variable. Uh avionics are all set, so once we leave here we're gonna talk to Farnborough. As we move our way round. Um not climbing above 1,300 feet. Golf Yankee Tango fully ready for departure at Alpha 4. Golf Yankee Tango, roger. Nothing to flex, surface wind light and bearable. Entering a patch track in runway 20, Golf Yankee Tango. Okay. Final to land glide approach. Oh, bloody hell, so there is some between Tango, apologies, I forgot they were on the glide approach there, if you're happy to hold. Golf Yankee Tango, roger, we'll hold it. Uh, Fox Tango, we can take a grass for now. Golf Fox Shot Tango Fable, that would be helpful. Surface wind light and variable. No problem, we'll take a landing on a grass, Golf Fox Golf Yankee Tango, the previous dimension test is now going to be for the grass, that shouldn't affect. Surface wind light and variable. Enter the back track in 2 0, then Golf Yankee Tango, thank you. 39 Golf Fox Hill, North Radio, hello again, 2 0, right hand circuit, QNH 1008. 2 0, right hand 1008, 2 POB, 9 Golf Tail. Golf Fox Hill, Roger, is it back to Stafford? Stafford. Okay, thanks. Take off, then we're going to climb to 1300 and make our way around the zone, avoiding Stansted. And then eventually we'll be up to two, maybe up to five, depending on what this weather's doing. And Golf Yankee Tango, how much of a back track do you require? Uh, Golf Yankee Tango, we can turn around here, thank you. Roger, just got uh, traffic on base for the circuit, that's all. Visual with that traffic, thank you. We'll um, turn around here then and get going, thank you. Roger, thank you. Surface wind 170 degrees, 8 knots. Take it off, then. Go for Tango. Go for Tango, thanks for that. Uh, yeah, if you continue all the way and then vacate right towards the squadron. Uh, this yeah, caution here is uh, serious taxi on the squadron taxi. No problem at all, we'll hold short that's off the three to the top. Okay, power set, teaser please in the green, air speed's increasing. Wood level sound wind. Wood level, roger. Go for Tango, grab Roger, Brink, Golf Bravo Uniform, nothing to the next. Surface wind 170 degrees, 7 knots. As we start to weave our way around the London airspace, we have a very tiny area to manoeuvre in. As we climb out of North Weald, we have to stay under 1500 feet, or about 1200 feet above the ground, to clear Stansted zone before we can climb no higher than 2500 feet to weave our way along the M25 corridor towards the A1. What's that? It's telling us that there's airspace above us. Just grab your head, just touching down for a touch and go. Roger, it's going man. Wheel 08, roger. Golf Yankee Tango departing to the west and changing to Farber 132 decimal 8. Golf Yankee Tango, Roger, Fiegel Farber 132 decimal 8, see you soon, by the way. Fiegel Farber, thanks for the hospitality, Golf Yankee Tango. My priority now is to talk to Farnborough Radar so they know where we are and more crucially what our intentions are around this really congested bit of airspace. Sky Demon is telling me that we're entering Stansted's airspace but on the local pressure setting we're comfortably underneath it. 
For this reason, I quickly confirm with Farnborough Radar that we're all on the same page. Farnborough Radar, good afternoon. Golf Alpha, Victor Yankee Tango for traffic service. Golf Alpha, Victor Yankee Tango, Farnborough Radar, party message. Golf Alpha, Victor Yankee Tango, Pi for Arrow routing north wheel to Gabston, presently uh, two miles to the south of north wheel, 1,300 feet, QNH 1008, requesting basic service, uh, correction, traffic service. Golf Tango, due to level basic at the moment, QNH correct, and Squawk 5020. Basic service, and Squawk 5020, Golf Yankee Tango. Thank you. Notice the route that we're taking to keep us routing between the gap between London City, Heathrow, Stansted and Luton's airspace. I'll keep it steady. Souls. Oh, can't help the roads. What? Can't help the roads. What you normally say to me. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Here at Alpha Charlie, India requests to change to Staplefoot 1227 or 8708. Alpha Charlie, India Scorpion Security, get me. Scorpion Security, Goldstallion, it's a bus. I know, I know. Golf Tango, identify traffic service. Traffic service, thank you, Golf Yankee Tango. What did that mean? So, traffic service is. Um, I'll just pop that back a bit. The traffic service basically means that they will tell us if they see any other traffic near us. Oh, okay. We were a bit low when we come out for him to get us on radar, so um, that's why he couldn't give us a traffic service. But now, climbed a little bit, and you can see us on radar, so he can um, give us that traffic service. But in a minute, we're turning right to 005. Oh, dude, there's a massive fucking cloud. Yeah, we're going to this side, don't we? Quite a way right. And now we can turn right. Yeah, we're not going in that. Nasty. <laughs> feel the updrafts there from that um, storm. Hey? You feel the updrafts there from that storm. So we're pointing yeah. those down and the that went up. It was pushing us up. Just trying to stay well clear of that because it does look a bit beefy. Traffic in our 12 o'clock coming up. Look at the nose, the angle of the nose. Yeah. Are oh, we still climbing though? We'll have to stop it climbing, so if we climb, we're going into um, London's airspace and there's traffic over there. Uh, 300 feet below. Can't see anything. Should be under my wing now, very, very far away. There we go, and there's the downdraft at the other side of it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's a bad storm over there, isn't it? Over Luton, you see? Yeah. Flying around London really does take a lot of concentration. There's just so much airspace to squeeze between and with everyone sharing the tiny corridors below 2,500 feet, there's a lot of traffic to watch out for too. OK, we can sort of turn left a bit now. Now we're clear of that storm. Much easier on the way out actually than on the way in flying around here because 
on the way in you sort of feel a bit more fenced in with stuff all around you whereas on the way out it's like just keep going forward and we're going to be getting out of the London area you just want to grab that control for me a sec just hold it where it is you got that? yeah I'll pull back a little bit that's it you got that? Just sort of steady that for me off flight November traffic heading half a mile, same level Back and uh, similar track. Done it? Yeah. Traffic, free road traffic, golf flight November. Is that alright for you? It is scary actually because I was looking at this. Oh, okay. We were, we were falling yeah. and I was like, uh huh. Yeah, just pull back a little bit, look. Pull back. Yeah, I was, but it was no, like problem. fighting it. Yeah. It's harder than you do. It's firmer than you think when you're holding the controls, isn't it? It's been a long time since I held this. I know. It's been a lot of time since you've held a lot of things. Don't slap me, I'm flying. I'm not allowed. You can't slap me while I'm flying. Right, we are out from under their airspace. We'll have mixture rich. We'll have prop forward ready. Yeah, oh, here we go. Look at that look. Feel the power. What do you think you are? You're not Jeremy Clarkson. Golf Yankee Tango, traffic left 10 o'clock, 5 miles, crossing ahead left to right, no high information, and right 1 o'clock, 5 miles, left to right, indicating 700 feet below. And we're looking for both the traffic, Golf Yankee Tango. Oh, that traffic's on here now, it's going into Old Water. We've got some gliders over on the right, but they're sort of quite a way away. Tango, we're to the north of the TMA, now request frequency change to London information 124.6. Copy, thank you, Tango, Roger, radar service terminates, squawk conspicuity, play. Squawk conspicuity and over to London, thank you for the help. Copy, thank you, Tango. Yeah, that one, thank you. Conspicuity, is that one stupid word? It used to be just Sport 7000, what you used to say. I mean, like, that's much easier, isn't it? Yeah. They brought in this new thing with, like, Okay, Bravo, I have the uh, shore on weather and also extra if you'd like it as well. Go ahead. A nice little trip down to North Weald then. What yeah, do you reckon? It's nice. Best time you've been out, really, in the P28, isn't it? Yeah. But the kids are at school today. Yay! So we've been out for lunch. And I would have done the flight down, but um, the cameras all stopped working. So yeah. We have no footage from the way down. But we hopefully will get footage on the way back. We are monitoring the camera situation, or my first officer here, should I say, is monitoring carefully the camera situation. So we've sort of navigated our way out of London's airspace now, um, and um, are heading up, which is over Bedfordshire at the minute. Um, about an hour long flight, all in all. The weather's not too bad, there's a few showers about that we're doing okay to avoid so far, but. Um, as cross we keep those um, sort of clear for the rest of the flight. Yeah. Alright, isn't it? To read. So I organised a little surprise. A surprise? Yeah. Oh, I hate surprises. Shut up, you miserable twit. So, <laughs> I thought we'd have a Let's little... See what I have to put up with. This is normal, but anyway, come on. That's two. <laughs> So, I thought that while we were having a bit of quiet time where you didn't need to be constantly talking to air traffic control, that we could run through some questions that people always seem to be asking. So, last night I did a Google search on you to, oh pick, up, hell. to pick up the top questions that I asked. <laughs> oh my God. Are you ready? So what, you're going to read me some things that people are Googling about me? Yeah. Oh, bloody hell. Okay. Well, the top one's about me. Why? Oh, why disability. Hang on, so you search for Noel Phillips on Google, and the first thing that comes up is about you? Yeah. <laughs> it's bloody marvellous, that is, isn't it? <laughs> um, well, your disability, well, I don't know if you, this, this is your thing to talk about, is it? 
Do you want to talk about it, or do you want me to talk about it? Um, you can do it. Oh, oh, this is putting me on the spot now. I see what you're doing now. I don't even know what disabilities I have. So Rachel suffers from fibromyalgia, which is essentially used to be called ME, or was, was it? Or it's fibro? Oh, they're all different. Oh, they're all different. Very similar sort of thing, isn't it? ME and chronic fatigue. You suffer from a lot of pain in your muscles and stuff, and sometimes you can struggle to even get out of bed. Some days you'll sort of be able to um, walk a little bit or whatever with your walking stick and we'll be able to go for a wander around Tesco but some days you sort of can't get out of bed yeah and that's um, because of the pain that you're in and stuff so um, that's why we have to get assistance for you through the airport really because we don't know what sort of day we're just going to be having and typically walking through an airport is something that's going to absolutely kill you for about three or four days after okay next question what is your net worth? Oh what? net worth net worth? <laughs> do I have a net worth? Not a lot. Isn't that what like really rich people have? Yeah. What's that? Is that like how much you earn or something? I think it's uh, how much you might have in the bank. Well, that's not a bloody lot then, is it? <laughs> Clearly. That's it. Zero net worth. Minus 3,000. <laughs> no. um, well, the YouTube channel basically is our job, isn't it? It's our company that we run. It's our little baby. You're a director. Yeah, I'm a director. Um, and last year, or well, up until the end of April this year, we, in the 12 month period, we had a turnover of about 250 grand, was it, I suppose? Yeah. Um, but that, let's just be clear, that is nowhere near the sort of money that we get out of it, because a big chunk of that is paying for flights. Um, we, I mean, just flights alone last year cost us about 100 grand, didn't it? Even in the Covid year, when I wasn't flying that much, it cost, cost 100 grand in flights, so... Um, 100 plus? Plus, yeah, plus then you've got hotels and stuff as well and you need to pay for and all the rest of it. So, um, we generally come, I mean, I worked in IT before and I, the job I gave up to do this full time was about 50 grand a year. Yeah. And we get a little bit more than that now, but not a massive amount because now it's paying for not only us, but it's paying for... Right, it's paying for your salary as well. Okay. No Phillips pilot. But to be fair, that's probably me searching for that because it's me trying to find this bloody YouTube channel because I can never remember what the bloody link is for it. So um, I always end up just searching for it on YouTube. But um, no. Um, yeah, well, I'm a private pilot. That's scary, isn't it? A bit scary. Yeah. Me flying a bloody plane. I can barely drive a car. I don't trust you driving my car, I know, and yet here you are. Taking my life in my hands. <laughs> Noel Phillips biography. Biography? So if I, oh, I'm, maybe I should write a book. Tell people all about my life, like exciting life story. Of, like, rags to riches success that... On a internet minor, internet celebrity in a minor random corner of the internet. Um, so I, I grew up in Leicester, which is sort of we're almost at Leicester now, actually. Um, and as soon as I was old enough, I got the hell out of there, as people tend to do from Leicester. And I met you, didn't I? Yeah. The day that changed your life forever, for better, or for worse. Or just change. Let's just go with change your life. It changed your life. It changed both of our lives. Who is Noel Phillips? He's the um, Northern Ireland correspondent on Sky News, isn't he? People are searching the internet for who is Noel Phillips. It's not just like Noel Phillips. It's not just searching for my name. No, it says who but is Noel Phillips. But he's literally saying who is Noel Phillips. Yeah. That is like, that's a, that's no punch that is. Who is Noel, uh, you could at least just search for the name rather than like who is. Noel Phillips job. Play about, basically. Yeah, well, I basically, this is my job. I'm a full-time YouTuber, and um, I make videos for my main YouTube channel and for the Facebook page. And actually, the Facebook page is the biggest sort of, the biggest bit of it, isn't it? Yeah. And then YouTube sort of comes in second, and now I've got my pilot vlogs channel and stuff as well. And well, I basically do all that. I run the company. I run. <laughs> I am a. I am a. Aside from being a pilot. I am a company director, an owner, chief executive officer of two companies now, actually. Not only the UK company, but the American offspring as well. You might be in name director and owner of the bloody company, but it's other people that run it for you. Oh, well, there is that. Yeah. Anyway. Right, we're going to take some avoidance action in a minute, and we're going to avoid Leicester. 
It's probably for the best, it's for the best. So I'm going to turn right so we don't have to have a master. No, Philip's age. I am 29 with 11 years experience. No, you're not, you're 40. 29 with 11 years experience. You're only as old as you feel. No, Philip's Manfield. Sounds like a shop, doesn't it? Like a jeweler's or something. Bespoke tailors. Now it's um, more, that's where I live, Mansfield. Okay. Leicester, I live in Mansfield, and I bloody love it. I absolutely love it, I have to say. It's a nice little town, for whatever people say about it. Okay, no more Phillips, a Twitter. Oh, flipping Are you sure that's not just no Phillips twit? Uh, no, it says Twitter. Um, well, I absolutely can't stand Twitter. Um, I was on it for quite a long time, and I just got to the point, it's just the most god-awful, horrible, horrible platform ever. YouTube. 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 Me too. YouTube. Who too? YouTube. 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 Um, YouTube. Well, yeah, I, um, I have a YouTube channel, which you clearly know if you're watching this video, because you'll be watching it on YouTube. How does he make money? <laughs> I get asked this question all the time. Um, how do I make money? Well, basically, we have um, the company, IFE Media, um, and... We've got three channels now, we've got the YouTube channel, we've got the Facebook page, and then we've got the second YouTube channel, which is the one this one will be on. And we basically get paid money for um, adverts on the videos. So, you watch YouTube, and you might get a really annoying ad somewhere in the video, and um, that basically um, is what pays our bills and pays our salaries and stuff, isn't it? Um, Just to point out though, that we have no control over how many oh, videos, yes. uh, how many adverts in the videos. Absolutely, um, and we get asked all the time, there's too many adverts in this video. Well, unfortunately, we can't do bugger all about that, because I tick a box that says let YouTube decide where the adverts go, because I really don't have time to sit and place adverts in videos. Um, but if you are getting served adverts, unfortunately, that's out of our control. Um, but if you do have YouTube Premium, then you don't get the adverts, and it's actually really cool. Because we have YouTube Premium, don't we? And it's, yeah. it's a different experience. So yeah, get the YouTube Premium, and it's well worth it. Put that back to me, and I will hold the plane. You hold the plane. You got, got it? it? Yeah. That's see, it. it's time to climb a bit, so there you go, I've got it, thank you. Do you put it away? I've just tucked it on your back. We'll sort it when we land. Get up. Keep flying. Put that nose down a little bit. Make sure that that trying to stay level and just pull it level a little bit. There you go. Uh, we need to just sort of not go any further left because we've got um, bias there. So if you sort of aim for Newark, which is that town there, pull back a little bit. That's it. Alright, I'm going to switch over to Camston in a minute. So while you've got that. Prima Bravo Roger, so this wind 190 degrees, less than 5. You done? Yeah. Had a play? Yeah. <laughs> That's Newark down there then, by the way. The Newark showground up at the back. Capsule Radio, good afternoon, Golf Alpha Victor, Yankee Tango. Alpha Victor Yankee Tango, Gamson Radio, good afternoon, pass your message. Alpha Victor Yankee Tango, Piper Arrow inbound, uh, currently 12 miles to the south at 3,000 feet, request joining and landing information. Yankee Tango, Roger, runway needs 21 right hand circuit, QFE 1005. 21 right hand circuit, QFE 1005, Golf Yankee Tango. Golf Lima Bravo, late down wind, flight approach. Golf Lima Bravo, Roger. Gamson Golf Echo Papa, India Mike inbound uh, with the dead side joint. The what? Dead side joint. Golf Echo Papa, India Mike, uh, Gamson Radio, pass your message. Wait, descent. The other side, you're on the uh, side, uh, joint the dead, dead side, side. the other side. You descend on the dead side, basically. Golf India Mike, Roger, we're on the two one right hand circuit, QT 1005, and the circuit is active. Asshole, copied 1005, active circuit. So we're just going to follow the A1 now, that's the A1, so we're just going to follow that up to um, Gamston, which is sort of okay, coming to 11 o'clock. Lima Bravo Roger, surface thing to 0 degrees, 7 knots. 
Can I pass you the um, iPad then, please? Yep. The next time I fly, I'm going to get a better mount for this. Oh, thank you. I'll focus on landing the bloody thing like that. See the runway, yeah? See the airfield? So where the A1 is, follow the A1 up a little. Golf Yankee Tango in the overhead, he's only a second height. Golf Yankee Tango, Roger. Golf in the right, final 2-1. Can I just ask you to hold that for me, please? Yeah. Oh, sorry, it's okay. Oh, flying around. It breaks off onto current. Extra patrol. Pump on. Copy, Yankee Tango down, wind, 2-1 to land. Copy, Yankee Tango, Roger. Ah, uh, we No, actually, sorry. Still on the runway. Yeah, it's fine, I'll have gone by the time we get there. Approach is clear. We've got roots, we've got blues, we've got greens. Okay, cool. Copy, Yankee Tango, final two, one to land. Yankee Tango Roger, one just like 18 and surface time 200 degrees, one zero knot. Come with the mic, clear the runway. India mic, Roger. Copy the X-ray, downwind 2-1, touch a kill. Copy the X-ray, Roger. Watch these trees, this is where we have that wind shear all them years ago. Over these few trees. When the wind comes, actually, it's be too bad. When the wind's coming that way, it sort of whips it up. Hey. And then it gives you a bit of wind shear. There we go. That wasn't too bad, was it? Hey, hey, look at that! Uh, stick them up. Copy, Yankee Tango, right, they can sit down. Copy, Yankee Tango, Roger. So there we are then back at Gamston after an hour long ride up from North Weald. It was great to have a day out with Rach and I can't wait to go flying with her again. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let me know what you thought of this video down in the comments. In the meantime, thanks for watching, take care and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.